theme number two. Two, 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 two. All right. Um, let's see. Laurel says she needs to remember that. Can do this. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> let's see. Yep. Jennifer says that is a good thing to say to yourself. And Lynn, I now... I know that each and every day, one foot in front of the other. Absolutely. Absolutely, Lynn. All right. Very, very good. Okay. So, theme number two. Number two. <laughs> Kathleen, tell your hubby, yes. Are you watching that again? <laughs> oh, probably the Johnny theme is what I'm guessing. That's awesome. All right. Um, oh, thank you, Kathy Knapp. You're so sweet. Good mantra to live by. Absolutely. And yes, Nancy, one day at a time. Absolutely. Yes. All right. So, Jacob. Yes. You know what's just around the corner? It's a holiday. Oh, Valentine's Day. Yes. yes. Do you have anyone special you're giving Valentine's for? No, I don't. How about? Oh, sorry. Mom. Of course, mom. <laughs> That's yes. right. That's what I have. Yes, I yes. have mom. That's right. So Valentine's Day. So I know that there are some who just do not love the holiday, right? But I'm here to say we can still have fun with this time of year, regardless of whether the holiday is your favorite or not, right? And so... Um, <laughs> that's right, Kurt says he's single, ladies. He's so cute. All right. So, um, this week we are kicking off a fun, kind of a Valentine week. Um, whether it's Valentine's or Galentine's. Do you know what Galentine's is? I don't know what Galentine's is. Take a really good shot at it. Gal and Tines. Lady did. Yeah, <laughs> ladies day yeah. Lady day. it's when the sure. girls all get together right well. so even as friends we can have a galentine's day right so um this week we are starting off with making a dozen fat quarter roses because nothing speaks our language like roses like roses and especially ones that last, right? So Jacob, do you want to show off what we're going to share today? This is what we are doing today. Ooh. <laughs> so I was making these last night, ready for today. And I said, Jacob, come help me. And so he did. And so that's why I said, oh, you get to do three at three with me today. So let me share with you a few pictures that look how pretty those are isn't that beautiful guys and then oh, love that okay so few pictures for inspiration um this is going to be a project that you could make lickety split i mean what it maybe took us maybe an hour last night yeah for all 12, yeah. you know, so think about it as like, you could give them to, you know, one at a time to a friend, or you could um, do all 12 of them and give them to someone special, but we're just going to show you how fun they are and they will never wilt. They will never die. And <laughs> <laughs> they'll last forever The last forever exactly it's just like they're too pretty you you might not even want to use them right so anyway i asked jacob and yes he is a great sport today <laughs> i said jacob will you show all of us how we wrap the the dowels we're going to do that first so that's the first thing so you're going to go pick up some dowels i just picked these up at um i think i got them at walmart actually yeah, so. yeah i've had them for a while but um these are just some dowels there's like 16 in a package right and um then you want to get some floral tape 
Okay, we're all familiar with this. So Jacob's first going to show us how this goes around. All right. <laughs> all right. So what right you do there. is you grab the floral tape, grab the dowel. I just wrapped the top of it. Uh huh. And what I do is I do a spiral and I go around and I stretch it as mm -hmm. I go through. I just go all the way down the dowel as Perfect. with keeping enough pressure that it will it will stick to it and just keep going yeah so it's like you're pulling on it you need to pull on it in order for it to grab onto the the dowel right yes so you just really need just one of these little tapes yeah one tape's plenty of tape yep you just go all the way down. Laurel says you're making it look so simple. <laughs> Takes, you should have seen the first couple I did. It was not very good. <laughs> but but we had 12 chances to yes, get it right, Yes, I had right? 12 chances. So I've done this <laughs> quite a few times. There and, you go. Yeah. yeah, definitely Heidi bamboo um, barbecue skewers would definitely work as well. Yes. And then how do you end it, Jacob? Um. You go like this. I just do that and then and just rip, rip it, it off. Yeah. And then I just put a little pressure at the bottom to keep Perfect. it. Perfect. Let's pull that up there. Okay. So you can see that's the first part of making the fabric rose. All right. All right. Alice says you could use colorful washi tape. Oh, that would yeah. be fun. Good. Definitely. Do really that. cute. Yeah. Okay. So easy, right? The next part is doing the roses so i've got yummy fat quarters right here um and i think this would be cute it doesn't have to be just reds and pinks you could do whites you could do yellows um you could even do blacks if you had a valentine fabric that was black that would be fine too um so really any kind of valentine fabric will do so i'm going to choose which one do i want to do i'll do the one with the little hearts all over it Okay, so I'm going to pull this back and bring this down here. All righty. So this is just a fat quarter. I have a selvage right here. So I'm going to fold it from selvage to selvage in half. And then I bring it back down on top of itself and then bring it back on top of itself one more time. So basically I've divided it into fourths, okay? So let me show you one more time. Again, I'm going from down, up, top, down, down, up, one more time. So you're gonna have a piece that's approximately 18 inches um, wide then what you'll do is you're going to fold this corner down almost like as if you were starting to fold a flag, but we're not going to be folding the flag because that would be going this way, right, Jacob? Yes. Boy Scout, you. All right. So what we're doing is just the first part. We're just folding that down to a point. And now I'm going to just roll it. All right. Just roll, roll, roll. You want to kind of, don't have it be too tight, but. Space it out a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. All right. But you can see that I'm getting to the end. So I'm also going to fold the last part of it down and over. Now, it doesn't look matter what this side looks like. So it's totally fine that it, you see the raw edge because it's going to be covered up by um, the green by the felt, okay? But now you can see this that's rolled and you can even pull it out a little bit and you've got a rose. All right, so now I have these little guys and no, Jacob, these are not brace um, bands. They're not brace bands. <laughs> They're not brace bands. <laughs> Do you not all know what these are? These are little rubber bands that you find in the hair slip section and they're clear. All right, so just a little package of these will do. And what we're going to do is we're going to wrap it around the bottom section of the rose. Okay. 
Okay, so now it looks like this and it's all put together. Any questions so far? Okay, so I think we're good. Pretty easy, right? Now I'm gonna take the, the stick that Jacob wrapped and I'm going to place it through the top and it's just gonna push right through there. Now, the reason why I've done them both ways, I've done them where I go from the bottom up, but sometimes that pushes my fabric up too much. So I like to go from the top down and just place it there in the middle. And then I cut out a piece of green felt. If you've got like wool felt or even wool or just regular craft felt, any of that will work. This is approximately three inches by six inches. Okay, a approximately. It it's just has to be a rectangle. Mm -hmm. What I'm gonna do is just grab it at the bottom here and take another one of my little hair ties and place it around two times. All right, so I'm creating that those, um, what do you call it? Like the, the like bottom of the flower. It's called, okay, so it looks kind of like, like this. Yeah, and then I'm gonna also go from the top down and pull that up. Now this is going to come up and over the rows, the bottom of the rows, I should say. And that is as simple as it is. Isn't that something? So it kind of kind of comes down like at a at an angle right here. And this sticks on. All right. And then one last step, just to add for kicks and giggles. I grabbed some really cute little polka dot ribbon, right? And I'm just cutting off a small piece at an angle here. Get that one at an angle. And then these are gonna be my leaves. What do you think, Jacob? Pretty. Yeah, they are. Okay, and there you go. That's it. how simple it is to make one of these. Isn't that fun? That's it. So easy, right? So simple. Yes, I love that. Um, Elisa said, um, and by the way, get well wishes sent out to Lisa. She's been ill too. Yellow roses are for friendships. So those would be fun to give quilty friends. Absolutely. That would be really, really cute. Uh, Lisa is asking, could you make them with fat eighth leftovers? Yeah, absolutely, you could. They're just not going to be as big. So, but yeah, you absolutely could. Um, oh, thank you. Debbie said the green part is called the sepals. Se Hopefully so, I said that right. So yeah, it's sepals. S sepals? I think so. I do not have a green thumb. I can do this. <laughs> All right. Yes, Tana. Um, this is a great project to do with the kids. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah. How fun. Mm -hmm. Love, love, love. Um, and yeah, Kathy says everyone would love this rose. Who wouldn't love this rose, right? Yep. Heidi, no glue gun. None at all. Look who's here, Annette. Annette. Your friend, Annette. <laughs> we miss you, Annette. Oh, simple, but yet so cute. Thanks, Annette. All right. Um, Marion said, who knew? It could be so easy to make a rose instead of trying to grow them. Very true. Very true. Done we have done both. We, we've been really learning a lot about roses at our home oh, this year, yes, haven't we? very much. Yeah, trying to prune them back and all that fun stuff. And 
it's actually been kind of fun. Yeah, sure. Sure. <laughs> That's right. Anyway, super, super cute, fun little idea. Um, they're just so darling, you're not going to want to pull them apart. But just think how fun this is for somebody in your life. And it's as easy as a fat quarter. I mean, it just doesn't get any better, right? So put them in a big vase, give away one or two or three, and they'll last you forever. So um, Patricia said it's darling gifts for her sewing class. There you go. Exactly. So fun. Kathy said you can make a shorter stem and put them in the Valentine gift pocket. I love that. That's a good idea. Love that. <laughs> and Linda and no aphids. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So anyway, super fun, easy. But I'll tell you one of my favorite parts about this is that I asked Allie to put together a cute little tag for all of you today. So the tag says, if friends were flowers, I'd pick you. What do you think? Isn't that cute? That is Do you get it? Do you get it, Jacob? Yes. And then, we, of course, we wrote on here, love the girlfriends, but you can write whatever you'd like. So I have a, an up close picture. You can see right here how sweet that would that be to add to yeah. your roses if you're going to give them to friends. And here's the tags. If friends were flowers, I'd pick you. So fun. So this week, everyone every day this week monday through thursday we will be giving you a free tag download to go with that whatever project we're making so it's going to be a lot of fun on three things at three this week so we hope you will join us every single day all right yeah betty joe that would be cute love you a bunch that would be really fun too oh there you go brenda Tuck some dollars in the rolled fabric. Mm. I like that idea. That's mm. a good idea. Yeah, of course. Yes, he, he he loves that idea. He'll take a rose any old day with a few dollars in there, right? Yes. <laughs> All righty. Um, yeah, so kind of fun. All right.